I remember once being at this party and overhearing these guys say, she's definitely fun for now, but not the type of girl you want to bring home to your mom. But I'm not looking for that girl quite yet. I'm just looking to have fun. Pause. Like what? Excuse me? I remember being so offended by this comment because it made me feel like we as women we're just objects to be used and thrown away once our purpose has been served. But now, when I reflect back on this comment, I can clearly see the grip our culture has on these men. We live in a culture today that does not honor men and does not honor women. Instead, we live in a culture that looks at us and thinks we're just throwaway, that we can just be treated as the latest gadget, and when we are no longer in, move on to the next best thing. We live in a culture today and that is teaching us to view the world through the lens of lust, creating this idea that that is where we're gonna find and experience freedom and spontaneity. Lust has a grip on our culture, on our hearts. It's destroying us. It's not allowing for freedom or spontaneity. What does it really allow and open up? Hurt. So many people walk around now feeling more empty, incomplete, and chained. So how should we respond? with love. Love is to will the good of another. Love is to put somebody else's wants, needs, and desires before our own. When we begin to look through this lens, to act in love, our culture will change. That's how powerful love is. Love has the power to move mountains, to change hearts, and to mend broken pieces. So let's talk about some steps we can take so we can start being a culture of love. First one, commitment. We need to break this mentality that relationships aren't committal that some relationships are just because. We are not objects for one's temporary fulfillment. When we use another person or when we're not committal, not only are we hurting the other person, we're hurting ourselves. So let's be bold and commit. Second one, virtue. Virtue draws greatness out of us. We need to recognize that the strive may cause pain. We may be faced with some hard decisions and we may have to say no's, but it's so that we can say a greater yes. Yes to love and all it demands. Three, mercy. We need to be merciful on others and on ourselves. So let's spread mercy, because from mercy, love overflows. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. So click here to subscribe and then click here to see more videos. Bianca out. Perfection. <laughs>